and one. So one patient will die of cancer, and the other will live a long life. The doctor is even struggling for years to better predict patient survival. And this is a challenge that I say I survive. So how did I even end up in a cancer lab as a high school student? Well, it's actually kind of a funny story. It all started in an elevator with one conversation that led to one interview, and that eventually led to my position in the lab and my passion for cancer research. And just as I found my way into the lab in the most unexpected way, we also found our answer in the most unexpected place. A structural trait involved with building a hair and a hair. So to better understand this, I'd like you all to picture the style of the entrance with the people and roads and homes. Now imagine that there is a traffic jam and accident in that community. We'd automatically think of the culprit with the drivers of the cars, or maybe the policeman who's policing the intersection. Never would we think of the welding who's involved with building the home to somehow be involved with this traffic accident. Well, in the same way, we never imagined that a structural person called Titan 17 would ever be involved in cancer. So what we found is that people who have higher levels of this cutting are actually four to ten times more likely to die of cancer. It's almost like a crystal ball, allowing doctors to look at a patient and better predict their survival. The third and three words are really key to hear. So normally, our cells have these stop signs that tell the cells when to stop dividing. But what Titan does is that it goes into the command center of the cell and it knocks down that stop sign. Kind of like that welder who's a secret spy going in at night and picking out all the traffic signals. So without the stop sign there, the cells don't have anything to stop them from dividing. And so they divide like crazy, and that's how the cancer takes hold and then spreads to other areas. And so I think this little discovery helps show us that the most incredible discoveries in science are sometimes, sometimes found in the most unexpected places.